It starts with, in my opinion, bank accounts. You you don't have to necessarily have a bank account or the right things set up to go make money. You could literally get a client or create a product and sell it online and collect money through your CRM or PayPal or something. And, and you, can, you can make money, but do you have a system and a cash flow plan in place for what to do with that money? A lot of entrepreneurs make the mistake of blending accounts. This is like classic mistake 101, meaning you start a business, maybe you create a product and you sell it online and that money gets deposited into your personal checking account that you do. You pay your rent or mortgage out of, or you buy groceries out of. Huge mistake for a couple of reasons. One, this is not clean. It's just not clean. Commingling business money and personal money is not clean as you'll see in a minute because even though you might be a solopreneur and you are the business, and you are also the benefactor of the business's revenue. You have to be a big boy or a big girl and treat your business like its own entity. Otherwise, you're gonna spend all your profit. You're not gonna have any framework in place to have healthy growth. You're going to trick yourself into thinking you can afford things you can't when you have a good month or two in business. It's all gonna be messy, all gonna be messy. Two, on a practical level, if you ever get audited by the IRS or you ever just wanna do some recon on your own, the data is gonna be real fuzzy. It's gonna be really hard to get concrete numbers on what your actual business expenses were and what your personal expenses were, or even know how much your income actually was from just the business, because it's all just gonna to blend together. So step number one is you need a separate business checking account, business bank account. And then here's how things are gonna flow for you. You are gonna have one business credit card and business checking account that you use to pay all of your expenses for the business. So if you pay for a tool like Kajabi, right? For handling all your courses and your website and your email marketing, all this stuff, you're gonna pay for Kajabi out of your business credit card, okay? If you have to pay for web hosting, if you, if you have to pay to buy a Mac or a computer for your business or a camera or a microphone for your podcast or whatever it is, you're gonna pay for that out of your business account. And I recommend a business business credit card that then your business checking account automatically pays the balance off every 30 days. So you're not actually carrying a balance because that's stupid. Don't carry a credit card balance ever, okay? But you use it as a cash flow tool. You pay things with the business credit card and the business checking account pays it off, right? And then the opposite happens as well. All business money that you earn, all gross revenue, every sale, every affiliate income, any kind of royalties you get, any wherever you get money. I mean, I get money coming in from all kinds of random places. You don't take that money personally ever. It all goes to your business account. So very simple, your business account is your new hub for all business income and outgo, okay? Keep it really, really clean. That's gonna be your new hub. Your personal account should not see any business expenses, nor should it see any of that business income. You fulfill two roles, okay? You are both employer and employee. You're both business owner and your number one, aka only employee, potentially. And so you need to split yourself into these two roles in your mind and make some decisions and then try to keep things separate. So employer you, business owner you, is hiring employee you to do the work in the business. And you as the business owner wanna pay your employee a fair wage. As the employee of your business, you shouldn't have access to all the money in the business account, all the profit, all the time. You shouldn't be able to dip your hands into the business account as the employee and hey, we had a really good month. We did a $10,000 month this month with a big launch. I'm gonna grab 3,000 of that and uh, go buy a motorcycle, I don't know, or go take a trip to the Bahamas. You need to figure out what's the lowest amount you can get away with paying yourself so that you can commit to that fixed amount every single month. This will be your salary. And don't freak out, This is you're not gonna be making as much money as you thought, but just be realistic. Your salary, your consistent salary, is probably gonna be low lower than you thought. And as your business gets more expenses and as it grows, especially if you add team members, then you're gonna have to stop looking at your total revenue as your total paycheck because it never was that anyway. But as a big, big boy, big girl business, you're gonna have to start thinking about it as total revenue, then all these different costs and your salary is just one of those costs.